हरि ओ सहस्रशीर्षापुरुष सहस्राक्ष सहस्रपात स भूमि विश्व वृत्वा अत्यतिष्ठदशांगुल पुष एवेद यदूत यम उतामृतत्शान यदनेतिरोहति महिमा अतोज्या पुष पाद विश्वाभूता पाद मृत दिवि एको दूतेषु गूढ़ सर्व्यापी सर्वूतात्मा कर्माध्यक्षूताधिवास साक्षी चेता केवलो निर्गुण एको वशी निष्क्रिया बहूना एक बीज बहुधा कौति तमात्मस्थम ये नुपश्य धीरा तुखम शाश्वत नेतरेशणी महे गाय गापत दैवी स्वस्तिरस्तु नवस्तिर्माषेभ्य ऊर्ध्व जिगा भेषज शो अस्तु दिपदे शुष्पदे ओ शाति 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 यानी मनो यानी वचो यानी शौते अशो नो जरथुष्ट्रे फ्रामेशा स्पेन्ता गाथाओ गेउर्वाइन नेमो वे गाथाओ अशो निश अय्या सा निमंग उतान जस्तो रफेद्रया मैन्य उमजदा पौर्वीं स्पेन्त्या अशा विस्पेंग शोत्ना वंग उस खर तुम मनंग हो या खशने वीशा गेउस्चा उर्वानेम या शोत्नाम हाईतिम यजमय दे अवनवैतिम गाथाम अशोनिम अशेरतुम यजमय दे अवनवैंतियाओ गाथयाओ हनदाता यजमय दे येंगे हाताम आत ये स्ने पैति वंग हो मजदाओ अहुरो वये था अशा थचा याउंग हाम चा तास चा ताउस चा यजमय दे निमस चा यार में तिसी जाय चा निमस चा यार में तिसी जाय चा निमस चा यार में तिसी जाय चा हशोने अशेम वोहु वैस्तेम अस्ति उस्ता अस्ति उस्ता अमाय यदशाय वहिस्ताय अशेम हे ईश्वर भजिए तने मोटू छे तुझनाम गुण तारा नित गाइए थाय अमारा काम ओम नमो अरिहंकारम ओम नमो सिद्धारम ओम नमो आयरियारम ओम नमो उवजायारम नमो लोए सौ साहूनम ऐसो पद चन मुकारो 
सव पाव पणासनो मंगलायन सवेसी परम हवै मंगल परम हवै मंगल ओ देवशा धीरंतरिक्ष शांति पृथ्वी शांति राप शांति रोषदय शांति वनस्पतय शांति विश्वेदेवा शांति ब्रह्म शांति सर्वगुम शांति शांति रेव शांति साम शांति रेधि ओ शांति 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 Praise be to the Lord, the Holy One, perfect in wisdom. Praise be to the Lord, the Holy One, perfect in wisdom. Praise be to the Lord, the Holy One, perfect in wisdom. I go to the Buddha for refuge. I go to the Dharma for refuge. I go to the Sangha for refuge. For the second time, I go to the Buddha for refuge. For the second time, I go to the Dharma for refuge. For the second time, I go to the Sangha for refuge. For the third time, I go to the Buddha for refuge. For the third time, I go to the Dharma for refuge. For the third time, I go to Sangha for refuge. I promise to abstain from taking the life of any living creature. I promise to abstain from taking anything with thievish intent. I promise to abstain, abstain from the evil indulgence of bodily passions. I promise to abstain from falsehood. I promise to abstain from any intoxicating liquor or drug. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts be open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, 
that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord Christ, with thy faithful soldiers, dedicate this newborn day to thee, praying that it may shine in thy service as a pure pearl in the chaplet of our life. O thou great King of love, to whom be praise and adoration forevermore. Amen. Teach us, O Lord, to see thy life in all the peoples of thine earth, and so guide the nations into the understanding of thy laws, that peace and goodwill may reign upon earth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. To the most holy and adorable Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, three persons in one God, to Christ our Lord, the only wise counselor, the Prince of Peace, to the seven mighty spirits before the throne, and to the glorious assembly of just men made perfect, the watchers, the saints, the holy ones, be praise unceasing from every living creature, and honor, might, and glory, henceforth and forevermore. Amen. The peace of God, which passeth all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. I'll be reciting the first surah of Holy Quran. Auzu billahi min ash-shaytani r-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman r-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Ar-Rahman r-Rahim. Maliki yawm al-Din. Iya ka na'abdu wa iya ka nasta'in. Ahdan al-sirat mustaqima. Sirat al-lazina. Anantara gairul magdube walayhim walad dualin. Ameen. Eko Ankar Satnam Kartar Puruk Nirpo Nirvair Akal Murat Ajuni Sabang Gur Parsad Jab Ad Sach Jugad Sach Habi Sach Nanak Hosin Bi Sach O hidden life, vibrant in every atom. O hidden light, shining in every creature. O hidden love, embracing all in oneness. May each who feels himself as one with thee No, he is therefore one with every other. We have received after the opening uh, some messages uh, from those pe people who have watched us online and who have watched our programs or talks here 
which are now all uh, in YouTube to be seen. All messages has been positive and encouraging to, to have this possibility to connect to the whole world. One message which has been which has come by written, I will read it to you because it is from uh, from a fellow theosophical uh, institute it, institution. It is uh, from international theosophy conferences from the president of it, Mr. Eugene Sen Jennings. Uh, she writes, greetings and salutations from the board and membership of ITC, International Theosophic Conferences, and this is different than ITC uh, Theosophical Center at Narden. So ITC uh, sends greetings to the fellow theosophists gathered together at the 2014 TSRDR International Convention. Relatively speaking, formally as ITC, we are young in formation and solidarity, but as a group of theosophists beyond borders, so to say, representing theosophists from all traditions, as well as independent students, we send you sincere greetings and wishes that all spiritual desires, intents, and efforts of this year's conference come to full, full fruition and realization. Recognizing the sacred bond that exists among all theosophists that have dedicated themselves to this work, we of ITC extend warm wishes to all hoping that the sacred wisdom, tradition, and community to which we belong, and their teachings, which we hope to embody and become, uh, are the ones which move every participant at the conference to participate in a way that from that conference effort, a unique vibration is sent out into the world, so that its, its changes will be in accord with spiritual design and intent, and so that each and all will be better able to best serve the world for the realization and universality of all brotherhood. Namaste, Eugene Jennings. A few of the greetings from the members were received after 26th of December. Though they could not come for the convention, they have sent their greetings. Brother Bhagwan Bharwani from Karachi has this to say, that though we are not physically present at the convention, we send our fraternal greetings and wish that 200 2015 be a peaceful year. Brother Harshwardhan Shreth, Vice President of Gujarat Theosophical Federation, Miss Maya Lalwani of Rohit Lodge, Ahmedabad, Brother B. S. Mohanti, Secretary of Barabanti Lodge and Federation Lecturer of Uttal Theosophical Federation, Brother N. Mohanti, Joint Secretary, Theosophical Order of Service, Odisha Region. Brother Rusi Todiwala from Bombay. And Brother K. G. Vasudeva from Delhi, in the Prastha Lodge, who has now shifted to New Zealand. They all have sent their greetings to the delegates and have wished for a happy and peaceful new year. You know, behind uh, this kind of conference there are a lot of work, work done and one uh, 
who has contributed us, uh, with, his, with her work extensively is uh, the convention officer, Sri Priya, and she wants to say us something. Good morning, brothers and sisters. It's a privilege and honor for me to be here at the closing, as we come to the close of the 139th International Convention. We've had more than 1,100 delegates for this convention, and it is no mean task to handle this kind of an audience of diverse nature. Having said this, where do we begin? The beginning is always the first step, which is the most difficult. A couple of months back, Mrs. Lily Boyd kick-started the campaign with Clean TS campaign. She got the Adyar ladies around and started the Clean TS campaign. And I'm sure you would be seeing the results at LBC and many other places. Thank you, Mrs. Lily Boyd, for having given such a momentum to this entire convention. A big round of applause for the Adyar ladies, led by Dr. Revati, Jayashri and many others who, or who organized the reception. May I have a round of applause for them, please? <laughs> Where do we begin again is a big question. I got guidance from our friend Usha Ben, who spoke about learning to look at the bigger picture from top. My thanks are due to every one of you speakers here who brought in so much of thought, wishes, knowledge and wisdom. Your lectures were very uplifting and we were able to broadcast it right around the world thanks to Inspire Networks. Theosophy in a changing world, yes, you can see the change in the form of a live webcast with many, many delegates across the world logging in. So thank you, Inspire Network. There are many departments who have come in together to do a work of this magnitude. My thanks are due to Vellayamal and Shivakumar of GM's office. If you are here, please stand up. It has been a great deal of work here, having maintained the manual registers of all the delegates, taking in all their requests. You have done a wonderful job. Thank you very much. My thanks are due to my friend Sandhya Rani at the inquiry office. It's no easy task to handle the inquiry counter with all the complaints and allotments. Thank you, Sandhya. Thank you, all called school teachers and all the volunteers, including Shankar Rao, Rashmi, and a few others who helped us there. It's a, it's a very arduous task at the inquiry office. Now, all this is possible. We spoke about the soul of the convention, the speakers who brought in their valuable insights. But what about the infrastructure, the body of the convention? You see this whole podium, that this shelter here, this shelter, this theater, the canteen, and the inquiry office has been built by Mr. Kumaresan Nadar, who has been doing this assignment year after year. My thanks are due to him and all the workers. There are many unseen workers behind this mammoth building. My thanks are due to Shanti Electricals for arranging the audio system. Yes, they had to compete with the rain gods and thunder gods. Yes, well, it was quite a sight to watch. Thank you. We don't live by bread alone, but what is convention without food? So I thank Mr. Ranganathan of Sri Arangan Hospitality Service for catering to the taste of this diverse audience. Thank you, Mr. Ranga, for serving with a smile. Thank you so much. I thank my committee members, Mr. Ramkumar and Mr. Suresh, for their valuable experience and insight which they brought into this. 
Thank you. Wherever you are, I'm not able to see you. It's not a very easy task to move furnitures from one end of the campus to the other. The housekeeping department led by Mr. Amanath Rao and team have brought in all this here. So thank the head of the housekeeping department for their, for their help. <laughs> Handling more than 1,100 delegates is a very difficult task, more for the pipelines and the sewage lines, which are very heritage structures. There are many, many of you who have had to go without water, but kindly remember that normally where the pipelines would handle about 25 members a day, we had to handle more than 300 members. The pipelines choked, we had to buy alternate sources of water. Yes, but we nevertheless did that. Thank you for your patience. I thank Mr. Dharma Lingam and team for wholeheartedly giving, a, giving their support. In fact, I must make special mention of Mr. Dharma Lingam because he said, I am attaching my team to you, you prioritize and go ahead and work. I thank you for your freedom, for the trust that you have imposed in me and it has helped me work and organize and plan in an effective way. Thank you, Mr. Dharma Lingam. Our thanks are due to Mr. Suresh, the head of security for the security arrangements made here, Mr. Sangram and team from the garden department, Mr. Gopalan, the manager of Vasanta Press, for bringing out the bulletins in a very timely manner. He sits quietly and does his work. He's never up front. And thank you very much wherever you are working. I thank Ms. Idarmis and team for bringing out the publications, the bulletins, and also for the kind words of encouragement which you gave to me from time to time. Thank you, Ms. Idarmis. I thank the library director, Mr. Kuti, our chief librarian, Mr. Shinde, and team for the arrangements made for the delegates to see the library facilities. Thank you. We all need this little bit of encouragement here and there, you know. These go a long way. We are especially grateful to our contract workers, Mr. Muthu Pandian and team, and Mr. Arumugam and team, for coming to our rescue in emergency. The last 45 days, every day has been an emergency, and stood, they stood up bravely. I must thank our sponsors. Star Health Insurance and Mrs. Suganda of Ajit Travels. They sponsored the cultural programs on 28th, 27th, 28th and 29th. Thank you. Many, many workers have come forward to work in a very outstanding manner. My special thanks are due to the workers in sanitation department and the housekeeping department, they have worked day and night trying to keep the place as fit as possible. Please, a round of applause for them. <laughs> My thanks to Ms. Malini and family, wherever you are. You are. Malini, you made a wonderful introduction on the perform, cultural performance on 27th, 28th and 29th. Yes, and thank you for helping us stay rooted to the ground amidst the thunder and the showers from above. Thank you, Malini. You know, this time we have had delegates coming in long after the, la the last date was over. December 15th, December 20th, we were receiving requests for registration. It's very difficult to accommodate everyone but we have tried our best. For many of you who has who was come as first-timers, it could have started as a disaster, but it could have ended well. So, I am happy that you are ab able to have a very pleasant experience. But there are many who have come for the first time, but their stay has become more miserable. I am aware of that, but I am sorry we are not able to do much for you. But you are most welcome to come to ADR at a later point of time and enjoy this pleasant and sacred atmosphere. There is often many a slip between the cup and the lip. I must 
I don't know whether Mr. Ramamurthy is here. Mr. Ramamurthy of Bangalore is more than 80 years old. He had come to me a couple of times asking for hot water at 4.30 a.m. I did arrange for it, but the water in the bucket evaporated before it reached him. Okay, I'm sorry. I salute your resilience and your devotion. Maybe next time we'll ensure that such things don't happen. But your devotion is, a, is an inspiration for us, sir. Thank you so much. <laughs> Mr. Pradeep Govil of Bhavnagar has come forward to maintain some allotments, some accommodations. Such patrons are most welcome and in whatever form you can help us, we encourage you to do so. Thank you, Mr. Pradeep. I think I'm almost done. This, in case I have missed out someone, my apologies, because I've tried, I mean, it's, it's virtually impossible to name everyone here. We all live by... There is an outpouring of grace here. And all of you who have come to Adyar, I'm sure, would have received this, would have been able to feel this vibrant atmosphere here. It all, it, it all, what is needed is to be open to the grace that is pre ever present here. And I wish you all, as you move forward, to take some from Adyar, this vital ingredient which is there in Adyar. I'm just reminded that I've forgotten to thank a few more people. Okay? Yes. Uh, we should not be accused of ingratitude. I thank the uh, head of TPH and team for the arrangements made during convention. I hope the sale was good. <laughs> A lot of work has been done by the International uh, Secretary's office. I thank International Secretary Ms. Maria, Sudha, Nora and others for having put together this convention program. I thank the Vice President for his timely words of counsel and advice. He just kept me in good stead. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Last but not the least, I thank the President for having given me this opportunity. I've enjoyed this journey and I'm aware that there is a lot of scope for improvement. But yes, all of us together can collectively try. There are many members who have spoken to me expressing a desire to come forward and help ADR. Lot of people are interested in giving suggestions, ideas, knowledge, process. To all those, I would urge you, please write to us at helpadyar at gmail.com. I repeat, helpadyar at gmail.com. We will collect all the, all the uh, suggestions and tried to form a team to make, the, to make the journey ahead. The journey doesn't stop here, it's begun. Change, theosophy in a changing world, every moment is changing. I only have, I have to say this here, we are always helped, visible and invisible, we are always helped. Professors Thampi and Sh Mrs. Shanta and Thampi had a miraculous escape. They almost got run over by a pushcart. Okay, so, but they escaped miraculously and yes, the invisible, in, invisible protectors helped them. There are many visible protectors here as well who help by their kind words and positive energy. Thank you, every one of you. May the blessings of the Holy Ones be upon you. I wish you and your family a very happy 2015. Uh, before I conclude, tomorrow on 1st January 2015, the Adya Lodge will be hosting a reception at 3.30 p.m. All are welcome. The venue is the same place, Adya Theatre. The reception will be followed by entertainment. Thank you. Thank you for your patience. Thank you very much. Thank you, Priya. It's wonderful to have such energy. 
we need that all. And uh, coming to ADR and to the convention is uh, all, always an experience. And uh, we have now uh, three, three persons who will represent their impressions about coming to ADR or attending the convention, whatever the word is free for them. And first, we will have here Emanuel Lagerhorst. He is a member from Austria. All right. <coughs> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, members of the international delegations from around the world. I am from Austria. I am the first time here. And I want to tell you just a little bit my impression of the stay here. My first time in India, I was so impressed of the people, of so lovely faces, of so kindness, of helpfulness. I talked with many Indian people, women, men, old men, old men young people, and uh, I just loved them people so much because they opened my heart more. And I generally opened my heart more here at Adia because the atmosphere is here really, it feels so good here to be here and to full up my energy level again and to bring peace back to Austria or back to Europe, however. I, I enjoyed also, I enjoyed the food very much. It's very delicious here, thanks to the kitchen stuff. And Thanks to everybody who helped us to enjoy the stay here. I enjoyed also, I visited already the museum uh, in the headquarter. I visited the chamber of Krishnamurti, the chamber of Lepit and the chamber of Anipasant and Blavatsky. And I did some meditation there. And to that room guide me an Indian group of people, they left yesterday, they went back, and they invited me to dinner, they invited me just to join the time with them, so some, it was, yeah, I just spent the afternoon with that, oh, and I spent also the evening, so I spent as, uh, quite a of time with a typical Indian group, and I enjoyed very much. I had the first experience to eat with the hands. The first time it was really funny. So uh, I make some mistakes. Uh, I just throw the food somewhere else and stick into the mouth. But we had so much fun all together, so much laughing. And yesterday, the third time I eat with the hands, a guy invited me to come and to visit the city, Chennai, Maybe he is sitting here. I, I think I see him already. And I think it works already that I more or less can eat with the hands. And I thank him very much. I think I am seeing him already there. <laughs> yeah, that was a really wonderful experience. And we're sitting on the beach talking about economy and all stuff and the spirit of India and the, the philosophy of Indian people and how to feel things, how to feel things of partnership and to close together and yeah, that the people are staying together and help together and to love each other. That was really, really very, very impressive for me. I, I, like, I like it very much. Yeah, now, what should I say else? I'm really and the speeches, the speeches, the last days was also very, very nice about the changing world. I never thought that the TS International or ADIA are so, are so mentioned about the problems that we have in the world, the problems which should be solved immediately, beginning from hunger of people, from children or teenager until to solve the problems about the climate change, what is including 
climate change and the climate change is going very quickly and when people, when our politician or the economy is doing nothing, it will, it will suffer all people. The suffered people with hunger, devastating, destroying their homes, etc., etc. Everybody reminds the tsunami 2004 in winter. Everybody here, especially the Asian people. It was a horrific, a horrific thing. And the climate change will repeat this again, again, again. But when we are hold strong together, when we are really safe the environment, then we can get the goal that we can survive good on Earth. And when we help together and don't fight each other. And all this issue that he has president, uh, present on the workshops during the days. And I hope I will bring a lot of back to Europe, back to Austria, and offer to the people when I come in contact with them, with young people, with older people. And when I try to teach again children in the summertime, I will offer them also indirectly the speeches, the wisdom of you guys, what you offer to us and to give us so much input. I really thank you. Thank you, Mr. President, and thank you all members here of the Tears of Fix Society. I enjoyed very much and peace to all living beings. Yeah, and I thank you guys. Namaste and thank you. Thank you, Emmanuel. I'm sure your experiences will increase and develop. Next one is uh, Mr. Robert, Robert Bellan, and he is a member from Canada. Dear President, Vice President, brothers and sister present in this theater, brothers and sister from all over the world watching us on the internet. I have a few minutes to share with you my impression about my stay in ADR and of course about the annual convention. I will go fairly quick, quickly because there are three or four topics that I would like to share with you. The first is that I was very impressed and touched. The first that touched me and impressed me is that when I was walking on the campus, no matter who I met, there was always that feeling or of brotherhood or humanhood with no distinction of race, color, sex. Like, that seems obvious because this is our motto. Still, it is always very touching to see implemented in the day-to-day -day living which such a large group of people and so diverse what you are studying in books and what is from time to time difficult for many to apply in their family and with their friends. I was also very impressed seeing that respect was also directed was also directed to all animals and plants on the campus. The second topic I want to talk about is that I att attend the School of the Wisdom. I found it was a fantastic opportunity to meet great teachers and other students that are now friends. It is also wonderful to have the chance to acquire knowledge of such quality, even beyond knowledge. Something I can bring back home to share with my colleague for the good of the Theosophical Society, we will share in our lodges, our study groups, and with anyone who wish to learn more. Again, I must repeat myself, it is always amazing that although we were many people from different backgrounds and cultures, and the subject of the study were from time to time sensitive 
It was always done in a spirit of respect and humanhood. Now the convention. The main subject we talk was about change in the world and change in the Theosophical Society. The followings are not scientific statistics, but I would say that around 50% of people are consciously afraid of change. Another 49.9 are unconsciously afraid or at least uncomfortable with change because it leads to the unknown. One more time, again, I have to say that what struck me was that spirit of respect among everybody. The ones who want the change to happen did not seem to push or pull the others. The ones who would prefer not to change or not so fast seems to be open to listen. You might say that I always come back on that subject, brotherhood or humanhood. But is it not what is lacking in this world? Some people are hungry, but yet there is enough food. Some people are poor, but yet there is enough money. So what is lacking? This profound desire to share. Humanhood. This last month, I have seen and experienced humanhood every day. To summarize, I would say that I've, I traveled in North and South America, Europe, and in Asia before, but the last month I spent here in Adyar at the International Theosophical Society is one of the best experience in my life. Thanks to you all. Thank you, Robert. You mentioned about the School of Wisdom, and before I forget, I would uh, like to tell that the uh, School of Wisdom in Adyar is uh, uh, one of the main functions, of the many functions which here are, and the next one uh, after the convention, about one week after the convention, will be led by Ms. Tranti Kim Dew, and uh, the following ones will be then in next, uh, next October something. Uh, the, our next impressionist person who gives impressions is uh, Mr. Domen Kosebar from Slovenia. Please. Dear all, dear team, dear president, dear brothers and sisters, I'm really grateful to life for the opportunity that I can be here because we a lot of times take that for granted but it's not. Né? A lot of them would like to be here but they cannot be and it's a matter of respect to that. Uh, that I was able to be here these days and part of it together work. Gratefulness for the challenge of talking here. Up is mixed né? but it's pushing the limits. That's it. Uh, so, yes, I come from Slovenia, and I did. 18 years ago, I met Theosophy through my elder brother, Aristit, and since then, it is, it is my cornerstone as an ideal, as a quality, as an approach, as the nearest, as the, for me, purest orientation towards the truth for me. It is my fourth time in Adyar, but first time when Adyar's, Adyar is so fully alive. Wow, and that is beautiful. No? that is vibrant no? because uh, visits before were a bit sad because it was always in the time of no convention no? Uh, at least on the outer look no? because it was so empty but there was Radhaji with attentive presence behind the big desk, big desk of so many before no? 
But if I look back now, it really was a pre-wakening state, as I can see it. And now is wakening time, as I think it is felt around the world, and I think a lot of people mentioned here from this podium and to the talks, it's a new wave, a new need or a new attention coming, and I think it's well that we use the, the wind uh, in the back. Yeah? Uh, on one side is the need and the other the opportunity and our responsibility. Yeah? If I come back to sleeping, Adyar, for sure that is one question that it was in my mind, how to work on the project, project that our home, Adyar, will be active all year long, and also for that habitable, not just for the people that are used to this atmosphere, for the people, of, of, but for the people of, or all around the world. Ne? And since I used our home, ne? I ponder that, I noticed two attitudes in me that I won't talk of others. Ne? One was the tourist mode, ne? and one, the other was the member mode. Ne? The visitor in the hotel and the person at home. And this is really two different, totally different attitudes when you have to think to people you meet, ne? the taker and the giver. Ne? The TS as a project of Mahatmas was always a place that you could offer yourself as a helper and not a, as a club where you will be getting something and so on. Ne? Although for sure I mix things, but uh, that's the ground there as I feel it. Ne? But we so easily sleep in the taker. I pay, you give, and I take mode. Yeah? And I think Maria mentioned mindfulness and also otherness. Are we available? Yeah? It is up to us if we are prepared to cooperate, to have open mind, open eyes, needed preparedness to see the work, and when we see it, not to run away yeah? in that way. Yeah? Uh, Adyar is our international home and we can think a bit on that. Yeah? Maybe some valuable ideas will take place. It is our responsibility. Yeah? And it's the same in our countries, in our lodges, yeah? uh, in our premises to have that attitude. Yeah? And today is the time of group work, as I believe firmly, yeah? and uh, group initiatives and not just the work of lonesome individuals. Eh? And that was very nice to hear with a vibrant lady, the thanks and the uh, understanding of that it is not work of one. And sometimes we are like, a, uh, I love the story of a beggar and a man. Uh, a man was all every day work, uh, going from uh, work on the same road and a beggar were every day on the same place and every day he gave him some money. Eh? And after some time, he stopped giving it. Ne? And okay, first day, second day, third day, and the fourth day, the beggar said, okay, I would like to ask you what happened. And we had such a good relationship, ne? you were giving me the money, but now it's, things stopped. Ne? And he said, no, I'm very happy, I met a girl, and now we decided we'll start living together. And we decided we need the money for, uh, to buy an apartment, and we started saving. Ne? And the beggar said, oh, this is really nice, but not with my, not with my, with my money, and not on my account. Eh? <laughs> and, and all of times we are like that. Eh? It's just getting, we're just getting, but then it stops and we say, what, 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 what? <laughs> we have to see, eh? things are really not for granted. And we have to, it's, yeah, we have to be attentive eh? to understand what is coming one day. Uh, Sometimes it stops and then we have to adapt and to see one. Yeah? And also one thought on brotherhood, for, for me it is a fact, as El said. Yeah? And once you touch, touch that fact, there's no way back. That's one thing clear. Yeah? But do you love then everybody? I'm talking from mine. Yeah? I think not, but at least you clearly know, or you love everybody, but you clearly know that the problem is not in the ones that I don't love, but it's in me. Yeah? And you can't erase them, you can't draw a line, it is impossible. Eh? So you have to find the way. Eh? And where is usually the greatest challenge of brotherhood? It is easy to love different nations that are far away, other religions, because they are so different that you are safe in your position. Eh? I think the greatest challenge is in your family. Eh? Uh, and the ones that are so alike, you, the closest to you. Eh? 
And I said, I heard it a lot of times, and I tell me how is your relationship with your mother, father, sister, brother, and I'll tell you where is your brotherhood level. No? Or with fellow members in the lodge, in the society and wider. No? Of course, there is not one formula, so I believe that, but still can tell a lot this attitude. No? And as Tim said yesterday, everything is more important than God. And what I constantly hear in my lodge is, put God in the first place. It's so easy to say, but so important to do, but so hard to do. And then everybody knows for himself what means that in every moment we are putting the God in the first place. And that sooner or later brings you to, the, to your limits, as Tim pictured so well yesterday. And only there starts the growing uh, on the borders, uh, the new paths, the new solutions. Uh. HPB said that one who thinks he knows is more dangerous than the ignorant. Something like that, but I remember it well. No? I remember one challenge that Annie Besant gave, that one should go through inner beliefs about life, about God, the universe, karma, brotherhood, whatever, no? to inner beliefs and keep only the ones that are really part of him. And that can be frightening, eh? because I'll, the roof can go away, the building can go, a lot of things, because we just build it for our, for our security, as the question was yesterday, eh? uh, and left the theories behind. She said that it can be really frightening to let go the shelter, the security, but, but maybe then will, will the theory of brotherhood be replaced by the brotherhood itself. The theory of, of one life will be replaced with one life and the theory of love will become love itself. I'm theorizing, but uh, it is a challenge. Certainly. And once again, the word from yesterday, whatever you have, a grain of sand or a million dollars, if it is touched with consciousness, and I add with love, with the present, it is enough. No? So I'm glad we have the, the grains of sand or we have the million dollars and we have, if we have the love, uh, I'm really looking forward for the next year and next years what, what we will do in the bigger picture with all of that. Uh, to be alert, to find the work, to be prepared to do it alone or in group and do, to do it with the presence. Uh, and the Bible quote uh, from the Corinthians, uh, uh, just briefly, you can talk all language, you can talk all language, you, you can have everything, but if you don't have love, you're nothing. Ne? So let's love each other as Brother Aristide lo loves to say, and thank you for your intention and for the. Thank you. Thank you, Domen, to share your thoughts to us, with us. Our new acting treasurer, Mr. Narasim Harao, wants to give, uh, say something to us. Please. Our very dear president, vice president, and general secretary of the Indian section, and other dignitaries of the dais, and my dear brothers and sisters. As already introduced by the International Secretary, Hotman, I am Narsim Harab. Kayat Arauz is my surname. I hail from Guntur in Andhra Pradesh, about 400 kilometers from Aria. I have been coming to Aria for the last 40 years. When I was stepping into Adaya estate, I feel as if every tree, every plant, every flower is just talking to me, saying hello. That is the feeling which I have whenever I enter Adaya. I have given, been given the rare and onerous duty or responsibility of the treasurership of the Theosophical Society for the first time. I know 
the responsibility which it carries. There are so many treasures who served the society earlier to me. They have done a wonderful job. I also thank my predecessor, Mr. Jamanadan, for assuring me all his help, for which I thank him. If I may say so, the method of accounting in the society has been followed for the last more than 100 years. This has been audited every year by the Charter Accountant appointed by the Executive Committee. I think there is some need for any, for some change in the accounting forms in which the accounts are presented to the general body or the members of the society. I do my duty, I do my, I, I realize my responsibility to the members, to the general council, to the executive committee, as well as to our statutory auditors and the government to which we will submit the auditor counts. I promise you that I will do my duty with all sincerity. Knowingly I will not fail, but I assure you that I will do my duty responsibly and with all the reverence which I vote to the masters and all of you. Thank you. And then our international president, Mr. Tim Boyd. I want to thank uh, our new acting treasurer for his words. Uh, those of you who do not know Mr. Rao have had an opportunity to get an impression of uh, the depth of sincerity and devotion to the work that's being done here at the Theosophical Society. I think one of the great blessings for me, having come here from another country, having come here with limited exposure to the life and the workings of Adjar, except through word of mouth and through history, has been the fact that uh, I have found myself in the middle of a team of people, and the important word is a team of people, who have the Theosophical Society's interest at heart, and who have been willing to make sacrifices. The beauty of it is, we often talk about sacrifices, but sacrifice tends to be one of those words that's best used when somebody else is talking about the sacrifice you're making. I I get a little bit uncomfortable when I hear people talking about their own sacrifices. But since I'm the one talking about others, the people who have uh, devoted themselves to this work to the extent that they're willing to come here to Adyar, to serve in this place, to find the ways that they can best serve, not demanding that they be known throughout the world, not demanding that they get the greatest sort of location and the seaside view and all of the different things that go along with it. But people who have come because they have found in this theosophical work something that has been beneficial to them and that through them, in humble ways, all of us, they see an opportunity to share this with the world. So I'm very, very thankful that Mr. Rao has accepted the position that he's going to be occupying. Uh, he's a person who is extremely well versed in the approaches to accounting that are used in the contemporary world. And so these sorts of things are all, again, changes and ways that make it much more transparent and much more easy to, uh, to focus upon. I felt very sorry for Priya when she was 
she started down that difficult road of giving thanks to people because necessarily it ends up you thank the ants for what they have done because everybody deserves some thanks. So I'm going to fill in a couple of more that uh, have not been overlooked but perhaps were not mentioned. We have our Alcott Education Society which encompasses the school, so the teachers and the students from the Alcott Memorial School have been here, you've seen them around uh, doing a variety of things, so we're quite thankful to them. We have our teachers and students also at the Social Welfare Center, and you've seen some of the products that they have brought, that they have made there. Hopefully you have purchased them. If you have not, I want to see you running that way before they close <laughs> with rupees in your hands. <laughs> so we have them. And then we also neglected to talk about the, uh, stu the vocational training. So we have teachers and students from the vocational training. And they're the ones actually who made the products that I was speaking about. We had Mr. Sahu and Amarnath Rao who kept the visitor center open during the course of the time that you all were here. We also had, uh, we didn't talk about the crew at the LBC Kitchen who have been doing marvelous work in terms of the food and also in terms of just the sheer beautification of the place. I find myself sitting, sitting down at tables and the first thing I see are flowers looking at me. I wondered what hotel I was in. <laughs> but it's just the beautiful sense that sharing a perception of beauty and it shows in the food and in everything that they've done. So very thankful for that. Pedro Oliveira, this very handsome gentleman who blessed us with the Christian prayers this morning. He has been uh, responsible, he took it upon himself to keep the museum open so that many of you could come and see that. <clears throat> so those are some that uh, did not find mention in the brief period that uh, Priya was speaking. And there's another one who also was not mentioned. <clears throat> and in fact, when Priya was speaking, I was very thankful that she did not mention this person. Because if I had heard her talking about all of the work that Sri Priya had done, I would have been a little bit concerned for her humility. <laughs> But I have to tell you, when uh, she was, well, she was appointed as the convention officer, but it was, she was appointed with her consent, just so you know. We don't inflict these sorts of things on people without their consent. But the work of the convention officer, none of you can possibly know. You see little signs of it, but you have no, there is no way to know and there's no expectation that you should know what goes into that. But every aspect of everything that you have experienced during this time together has been something that has flowed through the work of this convention officer. I found myself at all different times of day. You know, I'm the president, so I get to go places and talk to people and appear important. This is part of my position. But on my way to some place to appear in my eminence and importance, I would always be going by, there's a little silver Volkswagen that sometimes you might see. This is her car. And I found myself every single place on the campus. I drive by, there's the Volkswagen. Five minutes later, I'm in a completely different place, there's the Volkswagen again. I start, and there she is. And I start to wonder. You know, there is this capacity that's spoken of as Maya Virupi, the division where you can appear in multiple places at one time. I can vouch for it. <laughs> it's real. I don't want to actually learn that power from Sri Priya because I have enough on my plate. <laughs> but the fact of the matter is I don't want to go in too long because obviously I don't mean to embarrass. But, you know, a very, very hearty thank you is due to her for everything that you have experienced that you might call good. So please.
All right, so we come to the end of our 139th convention. Uh, it has obviously been something that has had an uplifting effect. In just a few more hours, we will cross that imaginary boundary that brings us to a new year, 2015. In a few hours, 2014, and all that it has brought to our awareness, all of the experiences that we have shared during that time, will be history. And something new will begin. The quality of what that will be will, of course, be determined by what we bring into this new year, how we greet it, how we meet its coming moments. It's always the hope that something like this, where we come together, where we receive the sort of benediction of being in each other's presence, is something that we can carry forward, that we can share with this coming new year and the many things that it will necessarily expose us to. This has been a unique moment. It will never recur again. The combination of the people who are here will not be repeated. Many of us have met, have shared, and will see each other no more in this lifetime for a variety of reasons. So always at times like this, at all times, really, but at times like this, at moments like this, it's a good thing for us to call ourselves back to that state of mind that we often express as a state of gratitude. Gratefulness for the opportunity to be in each other's presence, for the blessing that has come from the sort of openness that our people on stage have described the sharing that has occurred, even for the various sorts of inconveniences that we have encountered, because it has given us an opportunity to become aware of where we find ourselves limited and to allow for our future growth. It's a beautiful thing for us to be here we're in this world to try to be useful. The fact that we have somehow find our, found ourselves drawn to this theosophical movement is something that expresses an awareness of a sense of purpose. We don't live just for ourselves. And moments like this, when we have a sense of the type of harmony that has been able to arise in this meeting together, are moments when we become most useful to this world. Not because of our own ideas or our thoughts, but because, as we know, this theosophical society was not some human invention. It was not something that sprang out of the mind of some very clever or very intelligent individual. It was something that was enabled to come into being because of an awareness and an openness that allowed for those great ones to make their presence known in this world. The great ones need hands and they need feet in order to make their presence felt in this world. We, when we allow it to be so, can be those hands. The world can be touched through us, but only as we allow it. This is not a work that we have come together that is a matter of personal effort. The personal effort is the time we spend in trying to stretch. But ultimately, for this work to occur, it must become something which takes on a quality of effortlessness. We allow the presence of the divine 
to flow through us. We allow that greater intelligence of that greater life within which we all live, we all move, we all have our being to have its way unobstructed by the personal desires, personal wants, dislikes, inconveniences, worries, all the things that seem to occupy so much of our thinking. That's the invitation that we can provide by this conscious use of this particular incarnation. We can provide an avenue for this world to be bettered, to be graced. And so to that extent, I think that we have done a wonderful work here together. I look forward to seeing many of you as the years roll on. I look forward to the work that we have together that's going to be taking place not just here in Adyar, but around the world. These are things that we have committed ourselves to. The opportunities necessarily have provided themselves to make this thing happen. And so I welcome it. I welcome this new year, knowing that this year, as every year, will have untold tragedies and disasters that we can't even imagine as yet. It's coming. We know this. But that also, inside of every darkness, I'm also grateful because somehow or another, this application to this theosophical worldview, these truths, has enabled me at least to see at least a glimmer of light in these dark sorts of occurrences. There will also be countless joys that occur. And for all of those, we can be grateful. Next year, when you all come here, I want you to look around at the bamboo poles. I want you to look at the corrugated ceiling because next year you won't see it. Next year we're going to have a permanent structure. Somebody's really waving back there in the back. <laughs> But I'm going to have to see if we can also get a uh, rainproof, something that doesn't have so much of the drumming effect. Well, we'll have to talk about that. But anyway, it's been a very good conference. As you can tell, those of you who are meeting me for the first time, perhaps I can go on and on. But I think I also know when it's time to stop. <laughs> so with all of that, it's been a wonderful conference. This conference is closed, and I thank you all. Excuse me, would you stay for just a moment so that we can have the blessing of the mantra?
तद्भक्तारमवतु अवतु मवतु भक्तारम ओ